Okay, this is uh, question six from October 2022, M1 paper. Uh, let's have a quick look at it. You can see that it's a vectors question, but vectors where we're using forces. We might be using acceleration. We might be using V equals U plus AT. These questions are normally okay. Every time you mix up two um, units like this, questions tend not to be too difficult, but let's, let's check that theory out and see whether that's true. Uh, part A, so what have we got? So we've got a particle of mass 0.5 kilograms at rest on a smooth horizontal plane. That's going to be for F equals MA later, isn't it? If I've got a mass here, I'm going to be able to work out acceleration. At uh, time T equals 0, we've got two forces, F1 and F2. As you can see there, where P and Q are constants. Given that A moves in the direction of ve the vector I minus 2J, can we show that 2P plus Q minus 4 is equal to 0? Yeah, we probably can. I don't think that'll be too complicated. Let's make a start by saying if we've got the two forces, let's find the resultant of those two forces. So we've got minus 3i plus 2j plus pi plus qj. So tied in that is p minus 3 lots of i. Uh, what well, we've got with uh, jq plus 2 lots of J, so fairly straightforward with that. They're telling me then, this is a, quite a, uh, a usual type of question here, they're telling us it moves in that direction, okay? If it moves in that direction, it's parallel to that direction. So what it means is, the easiest way of doing it is to say the ratio of this to this is gonna be the same as the ratio of this to this, okay? It's a really nice way of showing things are parallel to each other. So let me tell the examiner that I'm going to do that. If this is in the direction, and then whatever they want to choose here, they've called it I minus 2J, then I can say, it doesn't matter which way around you can do it, you can do that divided by that, but then you've got to do that divided by that. We've got to do it in the same way. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my I component 1 divided by my J component minus 2 is the same on the other side then. My R component P minus 3 divided by my J component Q plus 2. That means that they're going in the same direction parallel to each other. Just tied it up. So um, cross multiply. Q plus 2 is equal to, be careful when we're doing this, minus 2P plus 6. But let's face it, even if you made a mistake, you'd be able to go back and fiddle it all so that you get the right answer here. It is approved, so just maybe do one line extra to what you'd normally do. 2P plus Q um, plus 2 is equal to 6. So in other words, 2P plus Q minus 4 is equal to 0. I really don't think I need that second line, but anyway. Um, so we proved that first bit. It's really nice, isn't it? We'll get a question where we're proving something, so we know we're on the right track with that bit. Part B, what does that say? It says, given that P is equal to 5, right, if they tell me P is equal to 5, I'll be able to work out, well, I know P, and I'll be able to work out Q by putting P equals 5 in there. So P and Q I'm going to have. Find the speed of A at T equals 4 seconds. Well, this is what I said earlier on. Let's find the acceleration, and once I've got the acceleration, I should be able to do SUVAT, V equals U plus AT, to work out anything else. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's first of all say if P is equal to 5, then what I can definitely do is put that into 2P plus Q. So 2 lots of 5 plus Q minus 4 is equal to 0, which is 10 plus Q minus 4 equals 0, which means that Q works out to be equal to minus 6. So I've now got P is 5 and Q is minus six so what that means is i can go back and work out at the top there i can work out what the resultant force was so let's do that so f1 plus f2 then becomes p minus three lots of i so five minus three lots of i plus q plus two so that's minus six plus two j i get two i minus 4j okay so that's the resultant and as we said right at the start uh, when they were telling me up here they told me a mass 
F and a mass means quite often I can work out acceleration, can't I? So tell them what we're doing. Using F equals MA, I've got the 2i minus 4j is equal to the mass, which is 0 0.5, times the acceleration. So the acceleration works out to be 2 minus 4 divided by 0 0.5. Be careful, dividing by a half is the same as doubling, so it's... 4i minus 8j when I'm doing that. Yeah, so we don't want to lose silly marks when we're going through this tough, difficult enough as it is. Um, yeah, and again, I sort of alluded to this already. If I've got the acceleration, uh, I'm probably, and I'm trying to find the speed, and it tells me t equals four seconds, that's probably going to be a SUVAT, isn't it? So let's stick everything down for SUVAT, see what we've got. Should be dead straightforward because when they're involving vectors, then they don't try not to make it too complicated with these sorts of things. I'm guessing it told me it was at rest. Let's just go back and check. Yeah, absolutely standard there. So it tells me that it's at rest. So u is equal to naught at the start. V is what I'm trying to find. Um, I've just worked out that the acceleration is minus 4i minus 8j. Told me that that was after four seconds. So I'm not interested in s there. Classic. SUVAT where they give me three and I'm looking for the fourth one. So with those ones, I've got V, U, A and T. You know, be very good at this exam if you didn't know that that works out to be V equals U plus AT then. Stick everything in. V is what I'm interested in, so I haven't got that one. But I've got U as being naught. I've got A as being 4I minus 8J and T as being four. I'm gonna do that in a slightly tidier way when I'm doing that. So it's four lots of 4I minus 8J there. So V works out to be equal to 16i minus 32j. Let's just go and check what we're looking for. Yeah, and again, you should almost highlight this before you get started. Speed, they're not going to catch us out with that, are they? That's the velocity. The speed is going to be the magnitude of the velocity. So that's going to be the square root of 16 squared plus 32 squared. I don't bother about the fact it's a minus. We're squaring it anyway. Um, so it's always going to work out to be the same thing. That works out to be 16 root 5, or if you prefer, 36 metres per second. If you are doing it, remember, we want everything. I always put everything in two significant figures. Just going back and checking. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. So I put it in two significant figures. I know G is not mentioned in this question, but I just it stops me from making mistakes on other questions. Right, hopefully that makes sense. Relatively straightforward question.